check a flag in Atlanta. We come to the track which is nearly the exact same as Atlanta, but it's not. We're in Charlotte, Money Speedway for the Coke Cola 600. Birdie of NASCAR's best take on this racetrack, but only one nail still went today. Our post in today's race is the true car with Brad Kostowski. Of course, he is the post there, so of course, you would look up the post there. The also, I know he's going to be Chase Daly, the season 3 champ, of course. Those two guys, they were fast in practice, top two in practice, and top two in qualifying. Well, obviously, duh. So look out for them today. Of course, we look out for Kevin Elk as well. He won last week at Atlanta, which is literally this week, but we're not going to count this last week, but still. Don't look out for him today. I don't know what he'll do, but still. Then, of course, don't forget your winners who came one here, like, every single season. Season one, it was Ryan Blaney. Season two, William Byron somehow. And season three, Mark Jr. looks to go back to back today. Then you got Kyle Larson, who won the real life race here. Let's see if Larson can do it again today. And finally, Kyle Busch and Caleb Campbell. Their rivalry could continue today here at Charlotte after their little rivalry at Atlanta. So, definitely got that today. Of course, the band down here today. Really excited. 42 to be exact. Happy, and hopefully, this race will be amazing. And hopefully, they'll stay around. Anyway, we're going to trust life. Command the bodies, engines, and please welcome. I race in fan 9. Drivers, start your engines. Thank you, I race in fan 9, for doing the command. Now, here we are, race back for today's race. It's going to be a 38 driver field, 8 laps. You know, you know that already. 10% chance to rain, which is literally 0%. There was still 10% chance, though. So. Bread starts on pole for this race. Now, for the first time ever, there will be some pit roads, uh, there will be pit stops in this race during green flag or in the caution or whatever they want to do it. So, the pit, win so the pit window open. Uh, it will be four to seven laps, not eight, because who would be stupid to pit on lap eight? It's like, who? And we're about ready to get this race started. Also, about this last one, mm, we might, I mean, it wouldn't be the biased as Cody Well, might pit on the last lap. I mean, that would be stupid if I'm working it now. Then again, he's, he is on the. What am I saying now? The green flag is at the Coco 600 is underway. Class the little field to the green flag as... Well, we're not going to duck down, so... Yeah, that was the video really thing. Now, Xavi still leads. Bow second, Lugani inside of uh, Elliot, and uh, Lugano takes second away. Oh, I've just realised, Team Penske was on the ball, 1-2-3. Now, here comes Blaney trying to make a free wide. Now, on board with Xavi, he's come through turn 3 and 4. Well, and he comes out turn 4. Chase that, now takes back second. Blaney, I don't know what Blaney's doing. Uh, but, uh, uh, Xavi is going to lead lap 1 here at um, Charlotte. If you didn't know that. Now, Clyde will start to break a gap between him and Elias as um, this is coming from the tribal. Oh, they got Schmidt and then Kiss takes the leader as well. Kislowski involved as Baliki's is on top of Rick Rare. It was bound to happen at some point, but coming in turn one looked like um, just Baliki just going to college. I don't know why he did that, but um, yeah. No great an instant by and nowhere to go. And behind them, Cody Ware trying to avoid getting the lead because Lowski was trying to lap him down. And he gets involved. And uh, look at Baliki just going on top of his teammate. Well, not really, because, let's face it, Cody West sucks at racing. Here it is again, and just look at the 51 right here. Look at the 51. Trying to duck down low, again, because Lasky is right there, and just gets into it. Just tough break for the two-team of Brad Kosowski today. Just an innocent bystander, along with Noah Gregson. Looking at his CSC Cups, his debut this season. Not the way he wanted to start his season off, honestly, in the rack. Nor, um... Josh Bullock, he's done again, he raced the 500, so he has nothing to go for him, honestly. Now, here's the reckon full speed, and just... Oh, big hit for um, Josh Balicki. He is alright though. Class key will continue on the race as well. So once again, two weeks in a row, an early wreck taken out. This time only four drivers. So four backmarks already taken out of the race. Then again, they probably would have done anything anyway. And don't worry, Josh Balicki has already been to his um, crew. He is alright. So um, that's good for him. But then again, he's a part of my so he probably won't race the next race then. Meanwhile, Pit Burke is left trying to get repairs. The original race leader who got caught up in that wreck is already in. Deep trouble already. This is probably hopefully trying to get his third DNF in a row, which is helpful for him, honestly. And now the car is chased out and now finds out as a race leader. We're going to restart on lap 3 out of 8, and Elliot is, you know, the leader. Green flag is back on the air, restart on that 3 out of um, 
eight, and Chase Elliott is the race leader. Because well, I was, also did Rex, so I got literally gets Elliott to race leader. And the fans are probably going to run the stand, because that's what they do when Elliott takes the lead. Last and second, Blaney third, Balor fourth, probably from the inside of Logano, and Bush battling with his teammate Hamlin, and there's battles everywhere. Elliott ran in turn four right now, last and right hop seats, and your teammates won two, like they've been literally all seen in real life, honestly, and Elliott leads level three. Now on board with a nine chase Elliott, he passes a lot of lap down cars now, so he's lapping down all of them, honestly. And pissed off, starting away already, it looks like some drivers are gonna come down pit road, let's get an update from our pit crew, see why these guys pit early. Yes guys, yeah, these five drivers decide to pit early because, um, they think they can make it the rest of the way on fuel, but, um, Red and Steam did say to them, save enough fuel as you can to make it to the end, so... They don't entirely think they can make it all the way to the end, but they bet that they can make it to the end. Hopefully, that's what they're saying. As more is coming down pit road along with our second place driver, Kyle Larson. Yes, Kyle Larson is now coming down pit road along with a few other lap down cars. And Ryan Blaney follows off pursuit as well. Let's go back down the pit road and start updates on Kyle Larson. Why are they going so excited? Yeah, let's go down pit road and have an update on Kyle Larson right now. Pits guys, Kyle Larson will pit under this clean flat pit stop. Um, he's saying the car's a little loose in the corners, but other than that, the car is really good. Wants to make sure he can get a tight, he gets the car built tighter so he can run the outside lane. And looks like Alex is not coming down pit road as well. And Progress is going to storm on the outside of it, looks like. Yes, indeed. Chase Elliott will pip on this lap as cars are going to go right on past him. So he'll have to get his lap back, but he has to pit still. And Alex on pit road. Let's go back down the pit road with our pit road quarter. I don't know his name. Thanks again, guys. Chase Elliott now pits on the green. Say nothing going to car, just four first tires and fuel, and he is away. Oh, but Chris Bush just slams into it on pit road. Disaster is pissed off by Chase Elliott, as Chris Bush has heavy damage to his front end. Disaster on pit road, that's going to cost Elliott a bunch of time on pit road as Bush gets into his pistol. No, he have a crash on the racetrack. Kyle Bush is going to slam into the outside wall. Tyler Rayner gets in foul. Christopher Bell is in foul as Reddick slams the outside wall as well. Disaster on pit road, and now on the racetrack, it's even worse. Looks like Ken got got loose underneath Kyle Busch. They were battling for second place. Still not pit yet. And heavy contact with Ken on the back end. Kyle Busch slammed hard into the outside wall. Both are destroyed. And coming back down into traffic. Tyler Egg with nowhere to go. He was one of the guys who early, one of the early guys who pitted on, on the lap three. And he get, that's going to cost him. He goes hard into the outside wall. Christopher Bell goes on two wheels. And goes into the inside wall. Along with Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick. So Bell... He's not really having good luck on racks, because he's like going on two wheels, or even upside down, although he's fine, honestly, in these racks lately. Now here is a real speed, and just big impact for Kevin Hawk and Kyle Busch, and um, big as well for Tyler Reck, he went hard into the outside wall as well. All drivers have climbed the car, and they are all, all right. So after the wreck, four drivers are out of today's race, which are the four drivers who were involved. Reddick and Busch are getting their first end of the season, though, which is tough break for them, as they are out. And a good streak of, not DNFing, but their DNF streak will come to an end. And on pit road as well, got some breaking news as well. Chase Seller has run a lap down, so his contending for the win looks like to be over. And Chris Bodger has punched an engine, so he will also join Bush, Reddit, Carvick, Bell, or Joy, Blicky, and the other guys in the garage as well. And on pit road as well, the four drivers who did not pit who are on the lead lap still are now finding pissing that is Ty Dillon, Perkins, Bush, and Lance Jr. He did get the free pass, he is back on the lead lap and in the contender for the three, which are only lead. Literally nine drivers left in the lead lap. Jesus Christ, that is a lot. And after all the green flag pit stops, Kyle Larson will find himself as the new race leader. Will come in the fourth lap of today's race. Jesus, man. how many? If we have a point for that, more leaders in today's race than I don't know, they turn or some sort. <laughs> Flight back out, two laps to go here, shot, lost and leads, but he comes back, but right no, out of nowhere, the 21 team takes the lead here at Charlotte, lost and falls back on the outside now, in the battle of the second place between Denny Hamlin, now it goes Kurt Busch, making it free wide for second place, as the better Denny will pull away from the back on board him right now, at the end of turn three and four, he'll see the white flag run for it, full career in the CSC for the one cup series. But he has a hungry Kurt Busch now coming right behind us. Kevin Perkins also joins the fight. Busch on the outside. He has hung on for a win. He has won since season two. Matt hasn't won since, well, season one. Well, season three, actually. Down the back straight, side by side for the race lead. Now Kurt has the advantage in turn of three. And now Kurt will take the lead as Benedict Perkins back for second. But over turn four, his winning streak is finally over as well.
back-to-back winning streak broken, Kurt Busch wins the Coke Cup 600 here at Charlotte as Perkins comes home second place. Now here's a move off the finish, well, the finish, you get my point, it's, it's, it's to move for the win, honestly. Kurt Busch, not a fan on the outside, but he, um, used it for his fine style, off the turn two, gets signed by Stone the Benedetto. Bush came out no, honestly. I mean, he was, of course, he didn't piss on that last time. He had to put on the caution, which was good luck for him, so he didn't fall out down or anything to Perkins. He also pit as well. But down the back straight, Kurt Bush, of course, clears the bed down. He has no time as Bush quickly puts the block under Bedo and Perkins, so he doesn't make a run in, in Bedo and can't really block him, but still. And it was close time from that. It's Kurt Bush came across the line to win the race. So, um, good job for Kurt and right on for Bergenstein, but he just couldn't get there in time. So there you go folks, Kurt Busch wins the Coco 600, and now he is now locked into championship race at season's end, so, which is good news for him, because the other one's in season number two, which is, we know very year. So that's back to back drivers, because Kevin Albert was one week last season, well, last week, but, um, Kurt Busch did it again today, so that's back to back. If we see him do it next week, never know. Anyways, um, by the way, last and finally finished a race at last, about time he did that. Anyway, let's take a look at today's race. And here we finish the race. Here are the drivers who actually did finish the race. 29th to be exact. Probably the biggest we've actually had so far this season. Got first course race. Again, only nine drivers finished in the lead lap. How about Dennis Weather? Again, a nice top 10 there today. Good job here, man. Chase Briscoe actually got a top 15 finish today. More like his Indianapolis win when he actually got DNF. Well, before we went off track the step. And see, just Justin Hayfield, two laps down. Bad luck for him today. And here's your DNF list today. Big name like Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch. I mean, Harvick won last week, so he's safe. But Kyle Busch, not looking good right now. So he's only got two races left until the regular season ends. So you got to get his. You got to have to put his game up if you don't want to get an Embraer with Kyle Campbell or something like that. Anyways, guys, it's David Dosey here at Martinsville. Next week, we'll be going to Martinsville, Virginia for the new Emu Mac from Pain Relief 500. Once again, that is a really long name, so I'll, probably just, I'll just call it the Blue Emu 500 because that's the shortest name I can think of. Anyways, there it is. Very like, subscribe. Leave them all out, and I'll see you guys at Mindsville at Sunday or Monday. I don't know when I'll see you guys. And it's me, CS Noah, Kassan, and Grizzlies for Kurt Bush and Gambills 12. He signed up for Kurt Bush on their victory yesterday.